Have you ever asked yourself, what is the real purpose of a conversation? Why do people talk? Why are we talking with, you know, with others? Why is like, you know, are we talking with girls? What is the deeper purpose, the deeper meaning of conversation? I mean, if you don't understand that, like, you cannot really understand, like, you know, what it means to kind of seduce a girl and talk with a girl and create good conversation. So let's talk about it. If you ask me the deeper meaning, the deeper purpose of conversation is to exchange information. What it means? When you're exchanging information, you are allowing a person to get to know you and you are getting to knowing that other person, you know. So this is kind of the deeper core of actually what's happening. In order for you to connect with somebody or in order for someone to connect with you, you need to give him information about who you are. How do you function? How do you think? How do you live? You know, what are your hobbies, things, blah, blah, blah. So that person has a mental image of who the fuck you are and he can now relate to you, connect with you, like you or don't like you. So this is actually what's happening within the conversation. I know, for example, if you are if you're a salesman and you're selling something, it's again exchange of information. You are talking about your product and you're asking questions about the person trying to figure out what does he wants to buy, what does he needs, what are his wishes. And then you're formulating your sales pitch for that. But it's again exchange of information. In seduction, seduction is a sales. You are selling yourself. You're selling your intimate services, if you want to say like that. Like you're selling your intimate, like for example, when you are on the job, you're going to the job, okay? Like you're working as IT or whatever you do. You are selling your time, your business aspect, your professional aspect to the company for the money. So there's exchange. You sell your time, your knowledge, your skills, your business side to the company and then they pay you with money or with something else. When we talk about dating, it's again sales. But now you're not selling the business side of you, you're selling the intimate, the personal side of yourself to the person. And you're saying, yes, I can do amazing job for you. I can be your partner, I can be your lover, I can make you happy, you know, and so I see you, it's a sales. You are selling yourself. So, and that actually happens within the conversation. So conversation, if you ask me, has to be structured very smartly, very wisely. So let's go. What are the topics? What are the topics that you can talk with a girl? And this is basically a very easy question. It's very easy to answer. Like, you know, since girls are way more emotional and they are kind of not logical, you need to step out or you need to kind of ignore topics such as, you know, cars, gadgets, you know, business, career, money making, you know, basically everything what you talk with your male friends. You should not discuss, talk with that with a girl. So we're going to minimize that. While girls, they talk more about kind of, you know, kind of feelings and how they experience things and basically kind of very kind of um, dreamy. So basically I found like a six, I found five or six really amazing topics that are really easy for you to connect with a girl. You know, basically whenever you talk with a girl, it's very easy to connect. So the first topic, definitely what girls love to talk about and it's kind of super easy to talk about is travel. You know, every girl loves to travel, every girl wants to go somewhere, she would like to travel, or she has been, she has some ideas, like, you know, she has kind of bucket list, you know, kind of, and with the travel, you can talk about lots of things. Like, for example, you know, how does she likes to travel? Actually, you can find out about person a lot within that topic. Like, if you just ask kind of sub questions or you get information about, you know, is she more kind of staying in a hotels or a Airbnbs, you know, is she more kind of backpacking or very kind of, I don't know, luxury hotels? Or she's, I don't know, she likes to plan everything ahead or she's kind of more spontaneous person, like just goes there and then kind of figures out, like, you know, how does she travels there, kind of, I don't know, like, you know, 
bus, car, or like, you know, she likes to kind of stop or like, you know, airplane, you know, train, like, you know, you can just, basically, if you go deep within that topic, you can find a lot about person. And that's how, basically, every topic that I'm going to teach you now, basically, we're going to discuss, you should go deeper inside the topic and exchange stories. So, basically, she is learning about you and you are learning about her. The second topic, basically, on my list, favorite one is childhood. And there's so much kind of good conversations you can have with a girl, like, you know, and that's kind of very easy to open up, like, you know, you just ask a girl, so tell me, like, you know, when you're like a 10 years old, what do you want to become when you grow up? And she's like, oh, I want to be a princess or I'm a ballerina or whatever. And then you can kind of, you, you talk with that, basically you can ask, okay, like, so, okay, where it went wrong? Why now you're studying economy or I don't, you're working in a bank and basically you want to be a ballerina, like, you know, what happened with your dream, like, you know? So, and then you can, of course, always share your dreams. Remember, like, there's one very important rule inside conversation. It's like every question that you ask to a girl, like this kind of opening questions and kind of going deep, make sure you answer, answer it as well. So the answer rule is called answer your own questions always. So I know if you ask a girl, if you can wake up tomorrow morning anywhere on the planet Earth, where it's going to be, and she goes like blah, 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 you answer it as well. Don't wait for her. Lots of girls, they wonder, they would like to know, but actually they don't bother asking. Like they're afraid to ask, I don't know what's happening. Or they're kind of, some, some of them are stupid, some of them are not that kind of skillful with conversation. Some of them, they like you to lead. So always answer your own questions, you know. If a girl says, okay, I, I want to go, I want to kind of wake up tomorrow morning in Maldives, they're like, oh, cool, like, you know, I can, I, I like that, I appreciate it. But for me, I'm more like kind of Miami, I will, kind of, so basically, you go into learning, she's learning about you as well, okay? So every question, remember, every question that you ask, try to answer it as well, okay? From your perspective. So, Third topic, we said like, you know, kind of travel, childhood. I like to cover music as well. Like music is a super easy topic. Like, you know, so every girl now is like, kind of has a kind of listening something. So you can take it while you're listening, talk about it. Or I don't know if you ask, do you like this music? If you're in a bar or a club, like, you know, it's a very easy topic. Like, what do you listen at home? What kind of music do you listen before? Like, you know, what is like, you know, for chill out? What do you listen when you're kind of going out, pumping, like partying? What do you like? So it's kind of very easy topics to talk. Then what I like to cover as well is for my own reasons, like, you know, it's kind of food. And here actually I'm, see, within lots of these questions, actually I'm filtering out and creating is she the right type of a girl for me? Because I have my list, what I'm looking for. So basically, it looks like kind of, basically on one layer, we are talking, we are getting to know each other. But on a second layer, I'm actually filtering out, is she the right girl for me? Does actually make sense to take her for a date and kind of date her later? Like, you know, she's, she's not compatible with my lifestyle, with my wishes, you know. And definitely, I like girls who like to cook, okay? Like, and that's kind of very feminine trait. And, you know, I hate cooking and I like eating at home, like, you know, kind of healthy food. So I like girls who cook. And it's not that actually hard. Lots of girls, they love to cook. It's all about asking the right questions, like, you know. So I usually, I usually can ask girl, like, you know, so tell me, like, you know, what kind of food do you like? And she's gonna be like, you know, ah, oh, I love this food. And I'm like, okay, so tell me, if you had to cook, one dish to seduce your guy, your date, what you gonna cook for him? And the girl is gonna go, like, oh, I don't like this or that, or I don't like cooking, whatever. Then it comes in minus in my book, definitely. And then basically I'm gonna continue. So if she collects more than a couple of minuses, I'm not gonna proceed with her. Like I'm not gonna invest much more time because obviously like, you know, if she's not on my list of the girls that I date, I'm not gonna be with her. And I believe that all of you guys you should create yourself a list because it's very excellent for inner game because then you in a mindset, you know, not like, you know, I, I want to try, I want to fuck every girl, but no, I, they're not, every girl is 
for me. And basically you go there, you are screening her. Basically you're flipping the table, you take power on your side. And that's kind of really important for the approach, for the inner game, because you are the prize. You are the man and you're trying to find the girl, the best girl for you. And trust me, there are so many different girls out there. Not every girl is actually good to be with her. Like some girls are crazy, some girls have fucking childhood issues, trauma issues, like sexual traumas, kind of very bad energy. Some girls are angry, some girls are creating lots of drama. Some girls are super jealous and they'll, you know, like I had one girl, she was like, you know, fucking some, she wanted to kill herself. Like, you know, every time she'll come to my place, she wanted to jump out from the terrace, like crying, ah, you don't know me, I'll kill myself. So not every girl is good for you. And I mean, you understand that when you kind of date lots of girls, when you sleep with lots of girls, you understand, okay, like, you know, some girls are causing you super much, lots of drama. Some girls are actually super cool to be with, to hang out with, everything. and these girls I'm looking for. You know, so definitely within all conversation, I'm actually partially it's exchange of information. I'm talking with a girl, I'm getting to know her, but big part of that is I'm screening, is she the right type of the girl for me, for my life? So then next topic, what else you can talk about are the hobbies. Hobbies can tell a lot about person, you know, and definitely, you know, you want a girl who has some hobbies, who is kind of busy with something. So I'm gonna actually, I will actually kind of test this because it's a good topic to talk about, okay? Like, you know, so kind of what hobbies do you have? Like, or, or basically the better question is, if you're totally free Saturday and Sunday, totally free weekend, what do you do? And then she's like, oh, I don't know, I'm gonna read books, I'm gonna be in the nature, and I'll do, I don't know, kind of take photos, or basically, basically when you, when you give a person totally free time, and you're like, okay, so you're asking like, you know, so what you're gonna do, hobbies will come out. So it's very easy to figure out is actually, does she have something in life? Girls, there are lots of girls that I dated, lots of girls who have no life, no hobbies, and basically then you start dating her and you become the center part of her life, which is actually very disaster for me because now she wants to be every minute with you, she's sucking, super clingy, she wants to be non-stop with you, like, you know, kind of calling you, texting, that you become her life. So basically what I'm searching for within the conversation within a girl is, does she actually has some hobbies to do when she's not with me? And it's kind of super, super smart to filter out to screen because girl who has no life, She's doing nothing but kind of sucks your time. That's kind of not quality girl to be with, you know. Because you want to find a girl who does kind of yoga, who is kind of some self-help, working on herself. She's, I don't kind of playing some instrument, which is fucking excellent, you know, kind of or doing something that takes her time. So it's not you and the dating that takes all of her time. Kind of, I know, university, job, whatever, like, you know, so try to find a girl that's something, and you can talk about that, you can talk about, I mean, as you see, basically the game happens within two layers. On the first layer, you have this connection, you're connecting with a girl. On the second layer, you're actually screening out, you're filtering out information, is she the right type of a girl? On the third layer, you are being the price, you're being the man who is searching is she good enough to be with you? And that's kind of very important mindset to have. This is how you are creating a value. This is how you are being a valued guy. Like, you know, you basically understand that not every girl is right for you and you go out there and filter. And that's what girls are doing with their approach. They're kind of testing you. Are you the right for her? Here you're flipping a table and you're actually testing her. So. The next topic I like to talk about is, I don't know, can we cover the sports, music, hobbies, relationship, travel, what as well is good is movies. Yeah, like movies are a good topic, you know. Not really deep, but actually kind of very interesting topic about. And I usually open the movies topic with super emotional question. See, that's something you have to understand, like, you know, you, you have to step out from, or kind of, you have to remove 
from your game, from your conversation, asking questions that she has been asked zillions of times before. What does it mean? So if you ask a person, tell me, what music do you listen? You know, he's not going to think about it. It's just basically, it's automatic answer. Like, you know, oh, I like this, you know. But if you ask a person, tell me, like, if you're totally relaxed in your bedroom, you know, and there's some music playing in the background that you really enjoy, what is it? Now the person has to think about it and come up with the answer. And that's what you want. You want a girl to use the brain. Otherwise, it's kind of autopilot. You're playing autopilot game, which actually sucks. So... Movies, instead of asking what kind of movies do you like, you can ask a girl, tell me, what's the last movie that made you cry? I mean, do you see the difference between asking a girl, what's the last movie that made you cry, or kind of tell me, what's your, you know, what kind of movies do you like, you know? It's very shallow, very boring. This, I mean, th it tells every question that you ask. You can accumulate additional attraction points. You can actually, every question you ask will tell something about you. And you want to be different in the way you ask questions, the way you talk, the way you dress, basically the way you, you know, kiss, the way you have sex. You want to be different than all other guys in all of your competition because then she's going to be, wow, this guy is amazing. You know, he's one of the million. I want to be with him. And that's basically how you have to be. Be different, you know. If you're ordering a drink, you know, kind of try to do it in a different way. Try to kind of drink something and nobody else drinks, like, you know, having your signature drink or something, you know, which we're going to talk about in another clip, you know, which is actually super useful tip, you know, to have for bars and clubs. And so, yeah, movies. Movies, you can talk about kind of favorite movies she likes, you know, kind of last movie she cried, you know, kind of what else, you know, kind of maybe series she's watching on Netflix. So kind of go into that and you can actually find out about person as well, like, you know, who is she. And so basically within this kind of five, six topics, you need to stay. Okay, so we talk about music, movies, travel, childhood, hobbies, sports. Basically hobbies and sports kind of the same. And as well, what you can do is, I know, kind of gossip, you know, kind of, I mean, not too much, but, you know, kind of, if you just stay within these five topics, you are fine. So, second thing that I want to talk about within conversation, which is really important, is questions. Questions are good and bad at the same time. Every question you ask, you're sucking a person, you're sucking an energy from that person because the person needs to talk. And so it's basically not a good feeling. Like, you know, when you're asking lots of questions, the conversation becomes an interview mode and it actually goes really bad. It feels really bad. Like, what guy is like, you know, this person is asking me question after question. So basically, he wants to know everything about me, but he is not willing to give any information back. So it's bad. Asking lots of questions is bad. So you should replace questions with the stories. Let the girl, let the person you're talking to learns about you through your stories. Okay, so kind of be, tell interesting story. Write yourself two, three stories for each of these questions, with each of these topics. Like, you know, so you should have prepared questions for the music, for the sports, for cooking, for childhood, for travel, hobbies. Have this question, but have these stories prepared, like, you know, you know, basically sit down five, ten minutes after watching this video and write yourself down, like, you know, default stories, you know, if travel comes, I'm sure you have, like, a two, three amazing stories from your past, you know, regarding the travel, basically the places that you have been, like, you know, so say it, like, you know, say it, you know, kind of talk about those things, you know, have them written down, so basically you don't need to think when the question comes, you need to improvise. You have like one or two stories prepared. And then basically it gets easier because like you're talking about it and then new stories will come to your mind and it's going to get easier and easier basically after basically inside the conversation. So that's kind of super good to have, super good tip. And I'm going to give you the one last concept, conversational concept, 
that basically I use, it's kind of super powerful and it's super good for connecting with people is basically when you talk with a person, okay, you want to talk about three things. You want to talk, I mean, not talk about, but basically you are talking, when you talk with a girl, her favorite topic for sure is herself. Okay, so like, you know, and there are so many little topics you can talk about there. So definitely you are talking about her, okay, about her dreams, her traveling. Basically, on each of these topics we talked about, you're going to talk from her perspective, but you're going to talk about her, what does she likes, where she wants to go, travel, you know, her, where she's been, what she likes to eat, you know, hobbies. And then as well, you're going to talk about yourself. So it's about her. It's about yourself. You're going to open up yourself. It's important for informational exchange that she knows things about you. So basically, you will talk about yourself, about your sports, your hobbies, your music that you like, your movies, your traveling, your childhood. Okay? So basically, and that's super, super important. She needs to have information about you. When you eject with a phone number, she should have information about you. She needs to know things about you. And then the third aspect is a we. So you talk about her, you talk about yourself, and you talk about us. So you create future funds. So let's say, I don't know, you talk with a girl and you find out she loves ice cream. Okay? What do you do? You say, oh my God. So, you know, I know this amazing ice cream place down the street, you know, you, you know, I need to take you there. You need to try this. It's the best ice ice cream in the world. I'm going to take you there when I see you next time. So you create us. You talk about us. For example, girls like, you know, kind of, oh, I want to go to Jamaica. You look, really? That's on my wish as well, you know, on my wish list as well. You know, maybe, you know, kind of, we should go there together and then spend amazing holiday. So, Within the conversation, create few of us, you know. Otherwise, it's just, you know, without that, it's just talking about yourself and talking about her. So, the good conversation should be talking about yourself, talking about her, and then talking about us. That's super important to have. So, if you just incorporate these things, your, these three elements, your conversations will be much much better, more efficient, and you're going to be able to connect with a girl on a much deeper level. So incorporate this inside your conversations, future conversations with a girl. See ya.